Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how to walk two octaves, sweep arpeggios, or picked out arpeggios, whichever technique you want. You can pick them or sweep them, but I'm going to show you the key of E minor up and down the neck in arpeggiated form, five strings, two octaves. I'm going to begin showing you how they go, and then I'll try to show you a demonstration of them as well. So first, we're going to show you the beginning of them, starting with the root note of on the A string of the pinky note. Here we've got a D. And I'm going to lead all these arpeggios with my pinky. These are two octaves. The first octave begins with the pinky. So the D major chord being D of Charbet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain everything to you, then I'm going to just play it. So the D major chord, if you know, is D of Charbet. E minor is E, G, B. You have F sharp diminished is F sharp A, C. You have G major is G, B, D. We get to the A, we have A minor, A, C, E. B, we have B minor. C, we have C major. We're back to the D. D major again, D of Charbet. We walk to the E, we get E minor again. We get to the F sharp, it's diminished one more time. Finally, if you want to squeeze it in, if you can, you get a G major. Now, the popular spots are any spots that you like the most. That's what's popular. You will have your own popular spots versus what somebody else plays more of. You'll find the spots you like the most, and that's where you'll play the most, and that's why we'll call your popular spots. These are the arpeggios. Now, you can walk these from the high side as well. So if I took this E minor, let's say... Uh, what I could do with this is walk it from the high side and start with the B and the G. I could also sweep it. All these are arpeggios I could sweep from the G string. This is the B on the G string, starting this E minor sweep on the B. Now, I'm going to go to my neck pickup. Now, if I do this again, nice warmer sound. A nice way to practice these sweeps if you're doing the minor one or either one major or minor or diminished, but I'm starting with this minor one, is to sweep the first three letters. Get the, get the. Then you would just add in the hammer on pull off. And you continue on. You break it down in little pieces like that, it makes it much easier. There's your first octave. And you just continue on for a couple more notes. When you're beginning on the pinky, it's one, two, three. Remember to keep only one finger at a time on the guitar. That's what makes it the sweep. If you leave more than one finger down, it's a strum. So those are all your sweeps, and those are the different ways you can practice. I guess if you're in the major sweep, it'd be the same thing. You'd start on the, for the C major chord, you start on the G. If you wanted to, or you could start on the high E.
same thing here, one finger at a time. On your on your rest hand here, you want to you want your pick rest, resting into the next string. That's why it's called the rest stroke. And that's what makes it the sweep. So there's a few different ways you can practice those. I gave you some examples right there. I showed you every single chord. Now get to practicing. <laughs> Learn your E minor sweep arpeggios. They don't take that long. Have fun, guys. I'll see you in the next video.